very good morning good afternoon sorry to all the students of class 10th d uh, yesterday only we have completed this chapter bholi fine and uh, for the sake of some students who have not listened to it earlier i will be giving the quick brief description of the chapter what is there and then we will be shifting to question answers earlier uh, otherwise we are supposed to discuss question answers only okay my voice is audible to you all make sure please send me the feedback accordingly are you able to listen to me okay fine thank you so characters a quick revision of the characters so this chapter bholi bholi is a hindi word in english which means simple jana person who does not know smartness and trick who can be befooled by others easily right that person is called bholi but the real name of that girl is sulekha so this is the story of a girl fine who faced a discrimination because she is differently abled means uh, firstly when she was 10 months old let me discuss this character sulekha or bholi uh when she was 10 months old she fell from the cot that baby bed and she got some injury on the brain and due to that she had problems uh in the motor functioning or physical functioning of her body uh you can say she was not able to speak uh, you can say properly she spoke at the age of 5 uh, uh, and when she spoke uh she was not able to speak fluently she stammered while speaking and when she was at the age of 2 she had students are still joining in between fine so uh, she faced the problem of small pox at the age of 2 and due to that she got a uh, pox marks uh, p o c k pox marks all over her body including face so you you see that uh, this is not in the hand of a person find that physical changes and all that uh, accident changed her life and she fell from the cot at the age of 10 months so that's why she was slow as compared to other children she spoke lately and then uh, at the age of 2 she suffered smallpox and she had pox marks all over her body and face that's why she looked different than others and this chapter is going to tell us about disparities and stigmas faced by differently abled people who are slightly different from rest of the society how our society treats them fine so then then there is ramlal and his wife bholi's mother the name of the mother is not mentioned ramlal is bholi's father and he and his wife both are very conservative you know he had four daughters and three sons total seven children he had and uh, bholi was the youngest of all fine because like mangala and all uh, there are not prominent characters that's why i have not written the name and already discussed in the class as well so uh, bholi being the youngest and she was neglected by both husband and wife because of that problem fine they kept on neglecting her throughout the life then we have bholi's teacher so at the age of 7 uh, she was sent to school because of the you know she he wanted to set up an example in front of the people that you know i'm a very good number dar he was uh, having that designation the person who collects revenue from the people so just to uh, maintain his position in the society ramlal sent his daughter uh, bholi to school otherwise girls were not sent to school as well so when she goes to school that transforms the life of bholi bholi's teacher was a one prominent character who raised her in such a way who taught her each and everything that changed bholi's life she started speaking fluently she did not stammer at all she got awareness about the things and then finally one character shambhar who was middle aged man already married he was he could not walk properly he limps and he had grown up children as well from his first wife his father ramlal out of just because his daughter has pox marks and just because she is having stammering problem he got his marriage fixed with this man so when bholi grows up to be a well educated girl even then his father uh, her father you know fixed her marriage with bishambar so when he was about to put the garland in the uh, you can say around the uh, like bholi and uh, he saw the face of bholi and he denied to get married you know he says that she is having pox marks i will take 5000 rupees then i will say yes so this theme again comes dubious society fine 
Tory system, fine. Importance of teachers and gender discrimination. Varied themes are there in this chapter. More than that, we have discussed n number of themes in the class as well. So, face uh, dis uh, differences faced by the people due to their face and physical disability and uh, double standards of the society and the greedy nature of the people and while setting up the marriages, how they see the money and all money mindedness, then dowry system and importance of teachers and uh, discrimination. So all these themes are you know, duly uh, uh, conveyed in this chapter, Bholi. Fine, so Bholi, uh, you know, uh, when uh, Ramlal gave 5,000 rupees to uh, Vishambar, then he agreed, but Bholi denied to get married to this man. She stayed straight away. She says no to this. So this chapter ends with this. When Bholi, you know, asked her, one of the teachers, the same teacher who was standing by the side at the time of Bholi's marriage as well. <coughs> Sorry. So she asked that I will be, you know, teaching in the same school where I have learned a lot. So this chapter tells the education system can change your life as well how education transform you as a person that is to be seen in this chapter. Okay, so now we will be switching to question answers. Peter. Yes, Peter, first two questions we have already done. So page number 55, these two questions. Does Bholi enjoy her first day at school? You can raise your hands, Peter. Does Bholi enjoy her first day at school? Anybody, please raise your hand. Lakshman, Meet. Prince, many students are there. Please participate while giving the answers. We have done this chapter in detail in the class. Yes, Prince, do you know the answer to this question? Does Goli enjoy her first day at school? Be quick enough in giving answers, please. Those who will not respond, Vita, they are absent from me, make sure. Raise your hands. Yes, Divyansh. Boli does not enjoy her first day at school. She has many doubts and fears about the school. And it is only her teacher who changes her mood after the class is over on the first day. But uh, according to you, she does not enjoy, but I think so she enjoyed. She was hesitant of joining the class for the very first day. But she finds her, you know, uh, she had doubts and fears, but soon she was glad to see many girls over there, right? And she saw many colorful pictures and teacher was quite kind and sympathetic. So we cannot say that, that she does not enjoy at all. No doubt. So we will say, yes, Bholi did enjoy her first day at school. No doubt she was apprehensive. She was scared at first. But when she saw girls of her same age, she was happy to see when she um, meets her teacher, she was so kind and sympathetic towards her. She saw very different uh, colors, pictures, or animals she could relate in real life on the wall. She was happy. So she bit off enjoyed her first day at school. Does she find her teacher different from the people at home? Yes, definitely yes. She found the teacher different because at home she was not treated in a nice way. Everybody was bossing around. Everybody was giving instructions to her, but the teacher was being kind and sympathetic towards her. She was very nice while speaking to her. So that, that's why we can say that she was being sympathetic towards her. Yes. Why do Bholi's parents accept Bishambar's marriage proposal? Raise your hands. Very easy, very easy. Mehek, are you there Mehek? Raise your hands, children. Come on, class 10th D, participate. Jo answers nahi kar rahe hai, they are absent, absolutely absent for me. Dakshita. Yes, ma'am. Why do you, uh, why do Bholi's parents accept Bishambar's marriage proposal? Uh, Bholi's parents accepted Bishambar's marriage proposal because um, um, her, mo her mother thought that Bholi will be lucky to get such a well-to-do bridegroom. Uh, 
a big shop a house of his own um and several thousands in bank yeah so that was the main reason money uh, property etc allured them very good why does the marriage not take place uh the marriage could not take place because bishambara demanded a dowry out of his 5000 from them and father finally put those uh, 5000 in the feet of bishambar but bholi uh, you know she threw away the garland in the fire she was not ready to do this because she found this man mean greedy and uh, covered as her husband so she threw the garland away and that's why marriage could not take place let's continue let's see how many questions are there so we have reached uh, okay in between uh, questions are done with our textual or oral comprehension questions now let's discuss this bhanu pratap are you there bhanu are you there bisam are you there saksham grover those who have attended the class i'm just checking okay bhanu so you will also answer one of the questions Uh, Bholi had many apprehensions about going to school. What made her feel that she was going to a better place than her home? Uh, next question, you will answer, Bhano. Okay. Uh, question, you will answer. Uh, so, Bholi had many. What are apprehensions? With apprehensions are like you have, you know, misconceptions about something. So she was having, you know, a lot of misconceptions before going to school that uh, where they are taking me, why they are bathing me, why they are giving me. a head bath and ironed clothes and all and what made her feel that she was going to better place when she was given otherwise parents never bothered about her dresses and combing of the hair or oiling of the hair or bathing and all she was like left alone unattended but when she was given proper treatment then she realized okay she is definitely uh, some better place that's why they are preparing her so next second question yes bhanu will answer how did bolis teacher play an important role in changing the course of her life in few words ma'am bolis teacher played a very important role in changing her life because she was the first one who spoke to her with affection and love and she also encouraged her to speak out her name without stammering yes. and she also uh, gave her de- a desire to get education and learn Exactly. and she motivated her that she would be able to uh, she would be smarter than everyone in the village one day it's definitely so all the answers one was given i need not add anything into it so teacher uh, gave a ray of hope to bholi that she helped her in speaking without stammering she also asked that she will be giving bigger books every time new books to her for learning and she will be smarter than everybody will be looking at her Uh, after she will be a uh, smart girl fine so teacher helped her uh, showing uh, she gave a way of life to her a purpose of life to look forward to so teacher helped her constantly third question is why did bholi at first agree to an unequal match why did she later reject the marriage what does this tell us about her so you know in in between the chapter firstly we see when her marriage was fixed with bishambar that old man uh, of, of almost of her father's age she agreed to it because you know she considered her parents respect just because she respected her parents she could not say no to this marriage and they have already fixed it without uh, even taking her consent so if she had said no it will be an insult to the family so just for the sake of her parents she said yes and later she rejected because when she saw that man was demanding 5000 rupees as dowry and he was not at all a good person he seemed to be so she threw away that garland and that shows that she was courageous as well and obedient to the parents as well so both the traits are projected here bolis real name is sulekha we are told this right at the beginning but only in the last but one paragraph of the story is boli called sulekha why do you think she is called sulekha at that point in the story yes anybody uh see the meaning of this again this is a hindi word so lekha so means good and uh, lekha means a writer so a good writer is known as uh, so lekha a woman who writes with a good hand but unfortunately so lekha become became bholi and simpleton she is not at all uh, 
uh, up to the expectation of her real name Sulekha. So everybody started calling her Boli, and even writer has used the same name continuously. So apart from the very beginning of the story, the word Sulekha comes only at the end of the story. But here, the word is properly used in the context. Why? Because here they want to highlight that the Boli, that girl, she is no more a simpleton. She is no more the same. She is different now. She has become, as per the real name expectations, like uh, Suleika means a good writer. She has become educated, well-read personality, aware personality. So in the beginning, she was used, and at the end again, name was used. So she has fulfilled up to the expectations. Clear? Next is. Boli's teacher helped her overcome social barriers by encouraging and motivating her. How do you think you can contribute towards changing the social attitudes illustrated in this? This is with an open-ended question. Anything you can write as per your knowledge, what you have understood out of this chapter. So I would like to ask uh, Mehek if you are there. Mehek is not there. Hasita, are you there? How you can contribute to the society? We can contribute by saying no to taking Dory. Very good. What else? There should not be discrimination between boy and girl. Very good, Hasita. Very good. Equal rights should also be given to girls. Yes. Well done, Hasita. So, Hasita has taken up a very important concept. So, Boli's teacher helped her overcome social barriers. What are social barriers? Firstly, the difficulties faced due to societal pressure. Fine. And she was facing, firstly, physical abuse, like just because of her folk marks, gender discrimination in her own family, and lack of education was there. Fine. So, many things Boli was facing, and teacher helped her to overcome all those barriers. Now, how we can contribute towards changing the social attitudes? Definitely by saying no to Dory, by taking action against such people who are into Dory, by not facing gender discrimination, by raising our voice against it, by providing equal opportunities uh, to boys and girls, fine. And these are the basic, you can say, social barriers we are facing these days as well, okay? So very good, well done Hasita for this. Should girls be aware of their rights and assert them? Assert means they have to safeguard them. Should girls and boys have the same rights, duties, and privileges? What are the, some of the ways in which society treats them differently? When we speak of human rights, do we differentiate between girls' rights and boys' rights? A lot of questions are better asked in this question. Actually, this is based on gender discrimination only. Fine, we are living in male chauvinistic society in which uh, men are given more rights, men are given more advantages as compared to women. So they are asking, should girls be aware of their rights and assert them? Fine. <coughs> should same rights be given to the girls as well? I would like to answer, uh, you know, I would like to ask any girl or boy, both. What are your views about it? It's not about being a boy or girl. What do you think about this concept? Yes, Jia Devan, would you like to speak? Some students are not there. When I name them, there is no response. Tanya, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Do you think that boys and girls should have equal rights? Yes, ma'am. Boys and girls should have equal rights. They should be treated properly. Girls should also be treated as if the freedom is given to the boys. The equal amount of freedom should be given to both of them. So they are asking, you can mute yourself, Tanya. So at last, see, this is the very common question. Yes, they should have equal rights. They should not have special privileges. You know, the, at last, this should we talk about boys' right and girls' right? Not at all. There should be, you know, you know, one thing I'll tell you. The, uh, earlier, there used to be, we used to say, you know, there was a word like chairman. 
chairman why this is also uh, one example of male uh, dominance now we do not call it chairman we call it chair person now the designation is changed and it's very good change because chair person means chair person can be male and female both why to chairman so you see in this chapter number dar tahsil dar such words are used which are also representative of male chauvinistic society so such rights which are just meant for boys and some rights which are just meant for girls should not be there there should be some equal the way i told you find that example there should be uh, equal rights for all so that shows that gender discrimination prevails in the society if we create such uh, terms when there will be no separate rights for both the genders then there will be no discrimination do you think the characters in the story were speaking to each other in english if not in which language were they speaking you can get clues from the names of the persons and the non english words used in the story so no the characters in the story don't seem to be talking in english i think because you know rural background is there and parents of holi they suffer from social prejudices had they been well read and educated they would have been not you know speaking like that they were very conservative and they never uh, would like to send girls to school so how can you know uh, people who do not know english can do like that so from that it is clear that no uh, we don't think so they were using this uh, language and uh, the uh, mainly the highlight words are hindi words like tehsildar bholi lakshmi mangala number dan such words are there which are basis of hindi language basically so this seems to be they were speaking in hindi to each other this is one our extraction okay i guess we have done each and every question some additional questions please note down describe two accidents that disfigured bolly describe two accidents so these are uh, uh, ncert questions are done let's discuss additional questions now describe two accidents that fell upon holi or that changed the life of holi please raise your hands quick two accidents which changed holi's life bisam are you there firstly i have to confirm you know students are listening or not And then i will ask yes bisam then answer the two accidents just name them the first accident the first accident was that she hit her head with that she fell and she hit her head and the second accident yes at 10 month old she fell from the cot and got her head then was that she second accident was that she was not treated properly by her family no accident this is treatment of the family has nothing to do with this Yes, Tanya wants to speak here. Yes, Tanya. Second accident. Second attack was. Second accident was the attack of smallpox. Yes. So she suffered with smallpox at the age of two. Due to that, her whole body was filled with the uh, pox marks. You know. So th these were the two acts. Accidents are the things which are not in our hand, which are not in our control. It just happened. So these are the two accidents in the life of. Bholi. Next question is why was Bholi frightened to go to school? Why was Bholi frightened to go to school? Who would like to answer this? Saksham Grover, are you there? Or not even listening? I guess the audio is muted. See, they just join for the sake of joining. That is not learning. Princey is not there today, and uh, Harleen, are you there? Would you like to answer this, Harleen? Why Bolly was frightened to go to school? Uh, because nobody has, you know, gone earlier to school in her family. It was restricted that no girl will be sent to school. It was not considered nice. Gender discrimination was already prevailing. and bholi who had already been neglected by for the basic things in life she was bathed and she was given iron dress and all oh, her hair was oiled and that's why she thought that why they are taking her to some different place 
that's why she's being prepared for that so she was very scared what is going to happen next and moreover she remembered the incident of uh, her cow as well who was taken uh, from the house and she was sold off outside she thought that the same thing is going to happen with her as well so that's why she was scared that she's going to be sold off by somewhere by the father fine so she was scared then uh how can you say that bholi was a neglected child explain that is again a common uh, answer that how she was not treated in a nice way she was not spoken nicely she was not given proper bathing and clothing at home so that shows that she was a neglected child fine that's it bell is gone so have a nice